Hey, welcome to Jimmy D's RC and thanks for stopping by. Uh, today we are going to do a massive unboxing of a brand new airplane from OMP Hobby. The 106 inch Edge 540 Carbon Kevlar Edition. Yeah, I'm Jay, by the way, this is... I'm Steve from Knife Edge RC. I'm Gus, I just fly the OMP planes for Knife Edge RC, which is a, a pleasure. Must be a nice gig. Oh yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to let you guys get stuck into it. That's good, yeah, we're going we're gonna to start with the wings. So, uh, take this apart. Oh, I'll show you. I'll just show you this. So that's a box. That one is the box that holds the wings. And on the outside of that box is this that's reinforced with the timber around it. It's uh, really strong. And then, of course, you've got another box on top of this. Um, so it's three well boxes, <laughs> well protected, and you're going to have an issue there with shipping. Uh, all right, where's a Let's get these wings out. Got a wing bag in here for the wings. Side force generators, well wrapped. Now this is the, um, we've been waiting for this since July. Um, and uh, this is the very, very first 106 inch OMP Hobby Edge in Australia. The who's, very first one. And who's the is, first customer to um, be receiving one of these? A man called Tim. Oh, by the name of Tim. Tim Tim. Well, Timothy. Guy. Timothy, or better known as Timbo Crackalicious these days. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Now they've got pre-cut servo holes already. And I can see in there they've got strings run through the wing. For your servo wire for the wires for you running your wires. Beautiful, big, thick, durable looking pin hinges as well. And the underside. Dual hinges on the outside here and on the inside. Yeah, outer and inner, mm -hmm. outer, the very yeah. outers are dual Two. pins and then single pins in the middle. And there's what, one, two, three, four, five single pins in the middle. They're hinged very well. Um, I'll just. For the, for the hot Australian summer days. <laughs> you off. Oh, yes, Some nice big side force generators here. Oh, you could be playing ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get a good look at that. So it's just some beautiful air. You've got the alloy pins in there. And uh, we'll show you in the fuse how that all goes together. And of course, the carbon Kevlar reinforcement on the end there. Um, so that's, nice a, that's about seven to eight mil thick on that, the wing route. Uh, and, and it's reinforced both sides. So you've got rubber grommet in there as well for your wiring. To protect and those, them, yep. those alloy pins, the yep. alloy pin at the back there, that goes in at quite a fair way. Oh yeah. It actually goes all the way to here, right to the end there. So uh, good bit of... And how's the leading edge of the wing too? Nice and thick and uh, nice aerofoil on that. Jeez, that is beautiful. That's the other GoPro up there, I think. Yeah. It's quite a decent. It's beautiful. beautiful How's the covering job? Immaculate. Can't even find a seam. Apart from the only places right on the it. edge there where they wrap around. Uh, now this is exactly the same colour as the 60 inch that Tim has too, isn't it? That's right. Tim has the 60 inch version of this plane, um, which is uh, an electric setup, 6S plane. Uh, he loves that plane. And uh, couldn't wait to get this one. We've been waiting a while to get it, so I know he's keen to uh, put it together. Do you want to explain how the side force generator systems work with the OMPs? Nice and easy setup, isn't it? Yeah, they've got um, in the bag of goodies that come with the plane. Yep. There's, uh, there's some uh, screw on. So you've got two threads in the end of the wing here. With this plane too, these, these will attach in here, and then there is an outer section that goes on. And they're just elongated so they slide in basically very quick and easy. That extends the wing so you'll have this going in here and I'm pretty sure there's um, something to space that or uh, yep. I don't think it, oh maybe not. These here? It's no sits flush, the, aile the aileron's just short. And then this goes on the outside like so yep. and gives you an extension. Just really finishes on, the, on the wing so I don't know if you can see that like that. That's roughly what you'll get in the finish. 
uh, which makes it look really neat than just having the side force generator end on the very end. So yeah, yeah, yeah like a flat edge. Yeah. Those there, and they'll either, and they'll go in thin piece in between to space it out, so there's no rubbing of your ailerons. Nice big wing bags. Yeah. Yep. And I want to just hold that up on an angle a bit so you can see. What's that with the spars too, guys? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, that's the that's your main spar. He's decent, very decent. Yep. Good, good finish, like it's nice and smooth. Very nice. It's just a big Once diameter. Once again, the beveled edges, so it slides in the hole in the fuse nice and easily. All around the edges here. Nice big wing bag. Plenty of room in there for that wing. That's actually quite well substantial. It's wider down there than it is up here, so it, like it's got plenty of room. You've got your spar, you can fit it all in there. You also got the wing bag for your uh, elevator as well, which we'll show you when we get through. Some nice some velcro light. on there to fold it over. And that's your other wing bag. Of course, you've got all your beautifully finished elevators in that bag. And then there's... So once oh, again, we've got dual pin hinges on the outer and the innermost, and then two other pin hinges in here. Plenty of travel for the camera, as you can see. <laughs> and of course, twin spar for the elevator. Yeah. Uh, carbon spars. So, quick release on the, on the, on the elevator. Some quick room. release on the wings. There's four on each on the elevator and on the, on the wings. Some really nice solid carbon locating tabs here for the tail to go. So it's going to be setting up on the on the field. It's going to be really quick, simple, and easy. Um, it's not going to be trying to get bring tools to screw things together. It all clip together. Always locks in in the billet. Uh, quick yeah. release. So make it nice and smooth. Quick. It's just less less stress, less hassle, and you're up and flying in a matter of seconds. So it's uh, fantastic. Right, so now is where we're talking the quick release pins. You've got four of them on the canopy, and it's a pretty much a pull out and slide on each of them. And that's as simple as that. It comes out nice and nice easily. Alloy dowels on the front. Alloy there. dowels that poke in. And then you have your four uh, carbon Kevlar reinforced thick books yeah. <laughs> underneath. They're not letting go. They ain't gonna go anywhere, they're solid core is carbon and they're, they're, they're laminated on the outside with the carbon Kevlar layer as well so it's both sides of them so they're, they're super strong. Um, beautifully done. Cockpit uh, gauges in there and uh, lovely finish on it. It's Jay. Alright so internally here where the wing attaches you've got a full solid carbon plate in here with a billet style quick release pin. There's four of them, there's one at the back here as well. And uh, I'll rotate that over so we can see. We do have footage on the GoPro, so you'll get a close up to see them. Um, and uh, it is amazing. The, the size of this is just, and the weight of it, it's not, it's, no, it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't even much, feel sure. like it's full of carbon Kevlar. So and it's gonna be rigid as um, motor box and, and that. Um, We'll show our underside, Gus, where the landing gear is. Uh, that's also carbon Kevlar. And internally, you'll get to see that close up with the GoPro footage that Jay can insert into the video. You'll know how that in, is uh, a major importance with the landing gear. Yep. And a lot of planes struggle with the strength in that area. Uh, in this, it's fully boxed. Um, it does have aluminium plates either side like most planes do, but it is boxed and channeled in there in its sandwich between two carbon Kevlar um, uh, walls basically and that's right across the fuse to some really uh, they're not the plates either side of that box are solid plates with carbon Kevlar reinforcement they're not cut out there's they're not being cut out to light make it lightweight uh, it's quite solid up to the uh, firewall um, so as uh, uh, you've got a clear tube down there for your wires running through to your tail already already in there. You got your pull pull cable system as well. Yep. And um, the nice thick carbon wing spar tube. 
dual release or quick release, dual quick release on the tail down here. Is that, uh, slide that through. Is that something we can see? There we go. So we've got our servo wires with thick gauge servo wire, which is fantastic. Beautiful quality silicon gauge wire. Uh, also locking tabs on the servo wires, so you won't have to you know, go out and get your own ones if you don't like some of the factory ones that don't come with the locking tabs on the servos. Got the hinge pin section here already installed into the fuse. And then we have the rudder, which has already got the pin in it, which will be as simple as slide that through. And uh, it's going to be a big girl once it's got the cow on it, that's for sure. <laughs> you pull it out like this, it's just the fuse, and it's. Uh, we'll give you an idea. We can pull that. Uh, pull that out. Here we go. That is the cow. Beautifully finished. Nicely done internally. There's no dags. There's no glass hanging off. It's not messy. Yeah. It's, beautiful finish. It's, I'm a, I'm a boat builder's background by trade, so fiberglassing is my thing, and that is very neatly done. There's no thick and thin points on that glass work. It's, uh, Do you want to show them how neatly um, finished. tight the fit is with these, how uh, well formed they are to fit inside the cow there? Yep, we've got also they come baffles. in the kit, the, uh, the uh, baffles for the uh, ducting to cool your motor, so I'll get that in. Where are we? And these are made of uh, fiberglass as well? Yeah, they're quite quite well made, they're nice and thin, and you'll get that nice cooling in. And they are on an angle too. They're on on an angle inwards too, towards the motor, so that's not just straight in, it's coming in on an angle like that. So uh, let's put that over the kill on the front there and the seat, rough idea with that. And this Where's firewall, the engine box firewall, looks definitely nice and sturdy, very thick. It's sandwiched with plates of carbon Kevlar on either side. Sorry, on the outer, underneath as well, yeah. and on each side and the top. We're gonna chuck that on so we'll just get a rough idea, you can get a good idea of the size of this thing. Get that spinner, put the spinner on front. <laughs> where, where is it? Yeah. And we've got, it's got the big spinner. Carbon, carbon fiber spinner. Alloy back plate, um, beautifully finished on the paintwork, and the paintwork matches the film colour as well, very just, well. Just make it all that. Yeah. Just get a feel. And then, and that's with the spinner on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you get that in the, oh, is that in the shot, yeah. Tim? The big boy. <laughs> it is, but it still doesn't do it justice. Yeah. No, <laughs> it is a big play. And uh, so, give you an idea of the size we're looking at. We've got a bit of a spec sheet here for it. You've got wingspans 2,690 millimetres, length is 2,630 millimetres, flying weight 12.5 kilograms, wing area 127.42, uh, wing loading is 98.1 grams, and it has a right thrust of three degrees. Down thrust zero, attack angle zero, and uh, you've got nine 55 kilogram servos you'd probably want to run in there. Um, and it can be petrol or electric, which is interesting. Um, uh, they're saying a 10 kilowatt electric motor with a 200 amp ESC on 14S. So if you are interested in doing electric and you want a bigger bird, this might be the one for you. And for electric? It might uh, be one of the first too. Yeah, they give you these cooling plates, two to choose from, for uh, underneath the fuselage for your cooling exit holes of the air when you're going electric. Uh, you want to show them the landing gear, I guess? Yeah, we've got beautifully done carbon fibre landing gear now. It's super, super strong. Um, <laughs> there's a bit of flex there, but that's some, <laughs> I'm trying to work that a lot. That. It's quite thick up with in the up there. It's if you can see it on the camera there. That, that is thick. It's beef. Um, so you're not going to have any dramas with that. That's the ticket. Um, yeah, well, there we go. Then we've got, of course, our wheel pants, and they are painted and they are beautifully painted. Um, beautifully finished. Nice glass work internally and 
there's no messy dags and stuff inside that nice thick mount where it mounts up but just it's that stunning nice like the color is just i don't know if the camera's going to yeah. pick up how nice that color is but it's all matching um, but everything the same green they haven't faulted with that that's brilliant the paint color to the film work is well i'm going to get the, one of the side force generators and you know it's a very good match it's very very good match it's i know it's hard to match a paint color to a film because it's totally different things um and uh but they've done exceptionally well and uh we mentioned the spinner it's uh alloy yeah. backplate uh carbon spinner of course should be a very sturdy job i'm not sure if that will have to be cut out for a bigger prop depending on what you're on should be quite enough adequate room and of course you've got your base for your landing gear as well when that gets mounted up on and you've got your little skirts up to your up to your fuse accessories plenty of uh canister mounting holes plates i guess you call them yeah singles and doubles yeah you've got quite a few there's a, quite a lot in the pack to choose from or use <laughs> or utilize um hey that disc over there is that a template for Four drilling out your propeller on the I'd back of so. your um, spinner plate yeah i think so yes yeah and so they add a fair bit of stuff in here that you you've got that you can use um, template for your different engines there yeah motor template plate and it's got on there uh, a DLE 130, a DA 120, GP 123. Um, so, yeah, it's already comes with all this stuff in the kit. Um, tail wheel. We've got all bits of bits of cable ties. We've got what have we got? We've got all the bags of the hardware. You've got the elevator control uh, carbon arms and linkage rods and ball ends in there. Yep. Um, we won't go massively into this with gas, yep. uh, the gas engine mounts and, and fittings and really ball ends and linkage rods. Brass and uh, plastic rod ends there and turnbuckles as well. Yeah. And so um, you've got all this hardware that's already you know, that comes with the plane. So yeah. there's a lot of stuff in there, of course, that too, Gus. Yeah, the uh, wire protector. You don't have to go down to your local J car and buy some extra wire protection. <laughs> all right. So uh, nice this just carbon wheel uh, and landing also CNC gear. alloy. So we've done this with the, um, with Jay and I've done this with the 60 inch planes and uh, they make a billet, um, I'll just pull this out. Yeah. So there's your billet wheel uh, attachment to your landing gear uh, and it's great, it clamps the spat um, on. So you can adjust the height of your spat, you can move them up and down. So if you're running a grass field and it's long and uh, uh, you're worried about your spat, you can slide them up. They do that on all their plane on their edge 540s, and it's it's it just works really well. It's a great system, and I haven't seen that on anyone else's planes. So um, yeah. it, it's just great to see such uh, thought has unique. gone into the plane in in just the crucial areas like the landing gear strength, the wheel mounting points, the spats, uh, you know, areas that you have normally have troubles with. So. Um, but yeah, um, it's just, um, what can I say? <laughs> it's a stunning plane and uh, this is the first one in Australia uh, through Knife Edge RC and um, Tim's going to be wrapped to put this together and I can't wait to see it fly myself. Um, it's just going to be what, uh, something What else. engine have we got going in it? Yeah, what? When? DLE 130. DLE 130 is going to go into this piece. So. Um, I think you're taking that out of another plane, aren't you, Tim? Yeah. yeah. So, um, oh, the wheels. So the motor's had to run already, so this will be great. And uh, nice rubber wheels, four inch diameter, um, two piece wheel with a brass insert, like a collar. That spins quite freely, just like pinching them with my fingers into there. And uh, four countersunk screws, so you can take it apart if need be. Mm. Nice alloy finish, a bit of a bit of bling, a bit of rose gold by <laughs> yeah, like the finish, yeah, I'd say. They feel good though, like yeah. just with the weight of the plane, that's going to feel nice. They're not going to be too firm. Yeah, they shouldn't so. be too bouncy, which is good. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. Where can I get one of these? Well, you can contact us at uh, Knife Edge RC. Uh, so, uh, Knife Edge RC products uh, at gmail.com. Uh, yeah. and, and your uh, Facebook page as well? 
Yeah, at Knife Edge RC, if you just search us up on Facebook, you'll see all the videos, all the photos of the planes. Um, we'll put on boxings, flight videos, pictures. Uh, if you want to know any information, just shoot us a message and uh, I can fill you in on prices and things like that as well. But um, thanks for joining us and uh, look, look forward, forward to the to next video. The <laughs> next video when we get this up and going. So cheers. Thanks, guys. Mm.